That was my intro song. Sorry, guys. So I got time to introduce what I've been doing because I have 60 slides, too many slides. So they gave me 20 seconds to introduce what I'm doing. I know what all of you guys are visiting online. And now you all are asking me, how does he know that? And I'm going to tell you because I'm going to tell you about my adventure uh, in the land of browser security and I, how I found a timing hack, redraw timing hack, to utilize this visited Pseudo class. And now all of you are thinking like, yeah, but they fixed that. Yes, they did, but they didn't fix this. OK, so when I see, say go, I think the timer will go here. OK, so go. The history. This is the first home page ever. It looks like this. It was pretty cool. It doesn't look that fun. So people were like, eh, we want more things. So they got this. Now they can do all these things. Shouldn't they be like happy there, right? No. They want like change all the things. So they want to do like this things. They want to have like MIDI. You hear the sounds. They want to do all these things, right? They have the dancing baby and shit. So then we go back and to the specs. Like they had to give people this, so they created a bunch of specs. So all these things they did, all the smart people, I'm not smart enough to do this, but they did. So we got a lot of things, but we also got pseudo classes. And they are like a thing so you can, that you can use to like select things. And here you have this. You use this to like select maybe a link tag, and you say like, if someone has clicked this, we, we, we can change the color of the tag. Awesome. Uh, so fast forward till three years ago, I was like a noob developer and I worked at a cool startup and I was writing cool code like this and then I wrote that and I was like wait a minute I can change the color of a visited link I was like oh my god oh my god and I had a friend Josh and I was like hey Josh I found this huge security risk oh look 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 and I wrote this code in my thing I'm like look here now it's gonna be like uh, green and it was not green I was like look and it was not green I was like going back and forth I was like it's not green and I did it over and over again I was like freaking out and I'm like, why doesn't this bug work? And I asked Google, and he was like, hey, bro, we fixed this like 10 years ago. And I found this blog post, and this Mr. Mr. Baron was like, yeah, we probably need to fix this because we can know what people have done. So they did that. And I was like, what? So the browser has been lying for us now? Because what they did was to like, yeah, if someone asked for the color of the visitor link, let's just lie. So they did that. And I was like, man. And then I was like angry, I was like, damn you, Baron. I was like, no. Okay, it doesn't work, but you get it, right? Yeah, I was like that. I'm just kidding, though. It's awesome that he did it, but I was like, I can't give up now. So I was like, what if, like, we have these visited and unvisited links. What if I, like, combine them and, like, maybe toggle between them? Couldn't I do some crazy things? And I was like, I can. What if we like put super complex things? And back in the days, I didn't know what these complex things were. But I found out about, about SVGs. What if we put SVGs in there and we toggle between them and we like do this over and over again? And like maybe we can see some difference in measure time how many times we can do it. So I started to like add a bunch of them, and, like d decrease the timeout for like how I toggle between them. Like once you go like decrease the timeout, you see here number of you know swaps per second go up. So now we can do like 187 per second. But if we have a, add a lot of them, and then like so now we talk between a visited and an unvisited link, and we go between two unvisited links, the number kind of goes up. And I was like, oh shit! So this is the hack. Then we can do this, and we can just check for URLs if visitors have seen them or not. So it's like, OK, I wrote some code, and then I got this. I got a function where I could like, send in an URL, and I got back the probability if someone has seen it or not. So obviously, I've been to Nickelback. I haven't. It's a, it's a joke. But uh, anyway, yes. Uh, so I was like, it's working. I was like, oh my god, it's working. But it was not fun anymore. I felt bad. I created some bad thing, a monster. I need to fix this. So I filed bugs, and I was like, it's going to be fixed now, right? They're going to fix it. I was like, right, Chrome? Nah, it's a duplicate, and we're not going to fix it because it's too complex. Firefox? Nah, we need more info. It's too complex. Edge? Nah, we're not going to fix it. And they removed the bug tickets. It's not there anymore. And then Safari? I filed something back in the days, but now they have some new systems, so I haven't filed it yet. So we'll need to do that before I do some crazy things with this, because they, will, they need time to fix it. So yeah, we have a cross-browser bug right now where everybody can check what you have seen. I have 40 seconds, and I wonder then for myself, why isn't this fixed? 
yeah, it's a pretty complex problem, I guess, but I would hope that the browser guys could fix it some someday. So what I'm going to do is probably write a blog post about it, then I'm going to bump all the bug reports, I'm going to introduce a deadline, and then release this hack on this URL. So you can download it yourself, which is like super bad, but I don't know what to do. Uh, if I, <laughs> like, what should I do? So 16 seconds, this is my things, but you will not remember them because I have a weird name. So I did this crazy thing. I bought this domain. So if you go here, it will redirect to my homepage. Thank you, guys.